Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we're gonna go to Target right now, and um, I am. I need to try to find some hair gel that is not tested on animals um, for a sensory project. We need that and shaving cream. It's gonna be kind of hard to not spend a lot of money on stuff like that. When I was a preschool teacher and a whoop, director of education, um, I would have the baby rooms do sensory bags and even the older kids too, um, like toddlers and stuff. But basically Ziploc gallon bags, which I forgot to put on our grocery order, which we have to go pick up later, hence going to Target. Um, so, um, I would get these bags and we fill them with stuff that like little buttons or stuff like that and things like hair gel and shaving cream and then tape them to the floor or the tabletop and uh, that way the kids could feel it without making a mess or especially the baby's danger of putting stuff in their mouth like he would do. The problem is back in the day um, before I turn to like becoming cruelty free and stuff, I would just go to like the dollar store and get cheap hair gel. Um, but now, like I have to buy Justin's hair gel. Oh, it gets so expensive because it's cruelty free. So we're gonna go see what options Target has for that and shaving cream that, oh, that might be cruelty free. So that's what we're gonna go do. And then later we have to go pick up our grocery order. What do you think? He took a really good nap this morning. It's actually like 11 in the morning. Um, he took a really good nap this morning and I did some laundry. Oh, you wanna go out for an adventure? Yeah. We also played a bunch this morning too. Okay, I gotta get on the road before it gets fussy. Whoa. You like Target? You like Target? Is it so fun? Wee. I did not know Yesta Carrots was making hand soaps. That is awesome. Jackson, what are we gonna get for you that is not tested on animals? He's so happy. <gasps> He's so happy. Yeah. Look what I found in Target and it's only five bucks. And the best part, no animal testing these but only big boy sizes big boy sizes there too no fair no fair so we're home of course as soon as I start filming he drops it but he's been playing with this I bought it for him in Target um, he really you want it again no yeah not now so I gave it to him while I was eating really fast I wish I could eat really fast so I can get him out of the chair and go play with him but um he got this and he is like obsessed with it of course now he's not gonna play with it in front of you guys because why would I do that I would rather make mama look crazy I would rather make mama look crazy he fell asleep in the car on the way back but I wanted to get him one of these and when Crystal and I were at Bye Bye Baby it was eight dollars you guys like that's insane and eight dollars for the ones without the rattle the ones with the rattle were more they were like ten dollars or something ridiculous this was $4.99 in Target but these are really good um for hand-eye coordination and when babies are learning to grab things these are awesome and then when they become bigger you can stuff them with um, like material like scrap material and let them pull it out and stuff it in and as crazy as that sounds um, kind of doing that is good for their dexterity and stuff but it is also an early math and problem-solving activity can you tell mama was a teacher? Can you tell your mommy was a teacher? Oh, you poor baby, <laughs> you poor baby. This is the reason I went to Target too as well to pick up my medicine. Um, I ripped my information off the front of it, but I am one of the victims of the EpiPen crap. Um, <laughs> I have been paying like, I feel like they hiked it up, but before it was like $400 and then it was something crazy because they, it was a two pack. They wanted me to pay like $800. So I've been walking around with an expired EpiPen. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people like all of a sudden now are like educating themselves on, oh, you can get a generic dispenser, blah, blah, blah. That's not available everywhere. That has not been an option for me. And yeah, you can get a vial of epinephrine and a, um, <sighs> Lord have mercy. 
I just can't even think of the word, <laughs> a syringe. Yes, that is an option, but it's incredibly difficult when you go into anaphylactic shock to dose out epinephrine for yourself and inject yourself. That's why the pin is so simple. So since I finally met my deductible the first time and I shit you guys not like six years, they had to pay full out for my EpiPen and my doctor's like, you can get one every month if you want. <laughs> so I got my first EpiPen refill. So with this baby guzzles, let's have some EpiPen real talk. So a lot of you probably thanks to social media have just now become aware of the issue with the, is mommy not allowed to talk while you eat? Or the issue with the EpiPen cost and how ridiculous it is. And all of a sudden, it drives me a little crazy because everyone's a freaking expert now telling you, oh, don't worry if you have this or that, you need to do this. And because they read an article, um, just to educate you guys a little further, so you guys don't do this to someone you know that needs an EpiPen, um, the generic thing is newer. People keep saying, oh, you just have them write it for a generic epinephrine, um, uh, like a um, pen dispenser thing and they can do that that has not been that's not available everywhere yet and it is a newer thing for the past few years i've been asking my doctor is there a generic available um so just letting you guys know that is not something that's been like been out there for us and that being said the generic is 300 dollars still for a two pack um those kind of cartridges and pens and stuff they only come in two packs and the price is per pen so um, like mine is before the price hike was like 400 a pin, I think. And it was close to like $800 or something insane to get it refilled. And then, so the generic is cutting it in half practically by 300 for a two pack, which is great, but it's still $300. Um, and like I said, that has not been available, available everywhere and that is a newer thing. So, and then again, people are like, you can get a, um, syringe and just the vial of epinephrine and inject yourself. Yes, you can. This is another thing that drives me crazy. But if anybody has ever been in anaphylactic shock, they can understand it would be extremely difficult to fill a syringe and pull out a vial and do all that. Whereas the EpiPen, you rip it out and you like punch yourself in the leg with it basically. Um, so there's that. Um, when you're in true anaphylactic shock, something like that would be extremely, do you need a break? Extremely, look at your milk face, extremely difficult. So um, I think we have like a generation of people that because of social media and things trending, it's great because like y'all are learning about what people with allergies go through, like how ridiculous the EpiPen situation has been for us. Um, I haven't had one in four years um, because the doctor said, well, if worse comes to worse, use the expired one. So um, it's great that y'all are learning about that, but also um, people, I'm not saying you guys do this, I'm just saying in general, People see stuff trending, read an article, and suddenly become experts. So try to avoid that. Um, it's a little annoying as somebody with an allergy right now with everything going on. People telling me what I need to do. And nobody on YouTube has done that, of course. It's just been in real life on personal social media. Um, well, this is dumb because people should just do this. And it's like... <sighs> <laughs> it's just like you are not an expert because it's trending and you read an article. So um, there's that. I just want to share that with you guys. Um, again, nobody on YouTube's done that to me. I'm just sharing personal experience so that maybe like you guys don't do that to someone. Not that you would, but it's just extremely frustrating as somebody with an allergy that needs an EpiPen to be hearing that right now. Um, so yeah, it's great that the gener generics become available like more and more places. Um, but that's a newer thing. So that being said, it will still be $300 when we haven't met our deductible. Our deductible, it took me $6,000 to meet my yearly deductible. Um, I think it was like 3,500 before I met 8020 and Justin and Jackson still haven't even met 8020. So this is probably going to be the only time I meet my full year deductible for a while. So that's why I'm going to the doctors a lot, getting all my 
medicines refill refilled and stuff like that. So my doctor literally gave me like so many refills until um, 2017. He was like, refill it every month if you need to. Just have them in stock, different expiration dates and stuff. So we're done. We need to burp. I just wanted to share that with you guys. As somebody that suffers with a food and I have, I'm allergic to, the weird thing is I'm allergic to shellfish and regular fish. Um, like it's strange. It's very rare for people to actually be allergic to non-shellfish. And I'm allergic to bees and wasps as well. So... <laughs> Let's burp. Let's burp. So I'm just leaving the curbside to go. I stopped in the parking lot so you guys can see. It's like over here for you guys in Texas with HEB. Um, so Jackson's very mad because they slammed the back hatch and he was sleeping. They give you cookies now with your orders. I thought that was super nice. People are staring at me because I'm stopped in the middle. Sorry. Okay, I just want to show you guys this cool little thing for our new subscribers. I order all our groceries. So because I, he napped really good this morning, I got a lot of stuff done. So my fibro is better, but not like back to my normal pain levels. So I just unloaded all the groceries from the car. I put them in his playpen while I did that. Um, and um, I just decided to chill and cuddle him. I'm going to watch Criminal Minds. I've just now been able to start watching TV again. I feel like we've watched shows here and there, but like, I don't know. I used to like, when I was just YouTuber, housewife, dog mommy, during my lunch, sometimes I would watch TV. I didn't watch a lot of TV, but um, I would, when I would like take a break, and I say take a break because I take being a housewife very seriously, like cooking, cleaning, you guys know, um, it's a job. Um, and taking care of my other babies that are sleeping in the kitchen right now. I don't know why. Um, taking care of them, making sure they get stuff done. So um, he stayed asleep when I got home. I was able to unload the groceries and take the babies outside while he slept in his... that thing. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was able to take them outside and play bubbles with them so they're tired and for some reason they don't want to leave the kitchen now so I have decided I'm gonna relax and I'm gonna watch Criminal Minds I don't know like when I when we were in the hospital um to have him my mother-in-law she was the best she came and spent the whole time with the dogs like all day with him and um then she would come up and switch with Justin during the day so that uh I could or he could come home and shower and stuff but someone was there to help me um the hospital was okay with that even though they didn't really want visitors, they were okay with that. So, um, anyways, yeah, but, what was I saying? I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, so she was watching Criminal Minds on Netflix when, um, I started watching Netflix again. I was like, what is this? Because instead of watching some episodes, she said she had watched them. So then I started watching because I was like, let's see if it's good. Now I'm obsessed with Criminal Minds. But it scares the crap out of me. Not scared of ghosts. I know they can't hurt me. Terrified of, like, the psychopaths on this show. Like, even though I have a concealed handgun license and stuff like that, and I can protect myself, I'm still like, oh my god, these psychopaths. So, anyways, I'm watching this, and I don't know why I watch this and get myself freaked out, and then I'm, like, playing with Jackson, and I'll hear something downstairs, I'm like, what is that? Is it a serial killer? <laughs> like, that's my life. Seriously. You sweet guy. You sweet guy. 